tips. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Which doesn't sound relevant now. No, go on. <laughs> but, um, I think it goes back to this asset based community development approach that I talked about earlier on. And my top tip was going to be, if I had the chance to say it, um, but you're not, you're not to reinvent the wheel, so actually nurture and develop what's already happening in the community. The other thing I was going to say is obviously um, to encourage communities, this is local residents, community groups, to you know, utilise their existing connections uh, properly um, and then make new connections as well and, you know, to, to obviously enrich um, the local community and just be more inclusive. So what I picked up through this is what we've learned from the speakers, and I've made long, we've learned a lot when I say, is processes. We've also learned about the value of projects, project management and monitoring. And we've learned about assets, to understand their buildings, but also people, the community. And Dawn, you said it lovely just at the end, that, that's why I left you to that bit to the end, because you said it's about nurturing developing what's there. And what we found through Tix was, maybe missed, you know, we have actually nurtured. And we've actually developed, we've actually developed through the programmes. The key is, going back to that opening about the orphan story in Mid Wales, that analogy of hundreds of people are mobilised and we've got them going, what about next week? Does the apathy have to it's all set back in? That's my observations from three speakers. Anybody have your observations about where we've got to now? And I, read, I read something the other day that really sort of stuck out about apathy and it said apathy is a sign of not being listened to. So, our community is apathetic, our people, is it apathy or is it being fed up of not being listened to by professionals who are there to provide services? So that, that's just the point that I picked up on. And one of the other points that we're picking up on and developing in Manchester is change the language. You know, we talk about sustainability, we talk about disadvantage, we talk about deprived. It's if we continue to use those words, mm. we're never moving on, mm. and we're just labelling all yeah. the time. So. Yeah. <coughs> I'd like to second that about um, the language, but going to communities and thinking that you know, you know, the poverty streak and the mm. disadvantage. You know, think of what are the assets that are in that community. What are the good things? What are the positive things? Rather than going into these communities that are uh, fund dependency, that you know. Really over the last God, 10 years have been just totally dependent on funding and that's just suddenly stopped sort of thing. So, you know, we get them to think about the assets that are already in the communities and what is that they need to add value or to make it better.